Hi friends, welcome to my channel, Tech Updates by Sid. Today we will be learning the basics of iMovie Maker. Open iMovie and select Projects. In the drop-down select Movie for customization, we will discuss about trailer in some time. Trailers are preset templates which doesn't allow you customization. Now it's advisable to stack all your clips or videos in one folder. Best location will be desktop. Drag all the videos or you can also select the import button and browse to your clip location. After your videos are imported, you can drag them to timeline in the sequence of your choice. Now let's say you don't like a certain part in the clip, you can trim and delete it. To trim, right click mouse and select trim where you want it deleted however if the unwanted part of video is in the middle of the clip then you need to trim to point A to point B and then delete it. You can select the audio tab to add audio or effects, or you can drag your own audio files and trim and delete it as explained earlier. In the same way you can also add text to templates to your final video by selecting the titles and dragging it to the timeline or above the video. Dragging it to the timeline will make it as a template. Dragging it on a video will add as a text over video. You can also edit the text by selecting the font, size and color of the text. text you can also select a particular background, I personally don't use this.
there are also many transitions you can select from the transition tab. I personally prefer the cross dissolve as it gives more professional look. Also you can improve the audio and video quality of the clip by clicking on the auto fix icon by selecting the clip on your timeline. So these are few of the basic features we covered for iMovie, you can also check my next video to understand on how to make a trailer on iMovie Maker. Last and not the least, once you have finished editing your entire video, select the share icon on top right corner and select file, you can also select YouTube or other options, but I personally prefer to save it as a file, in file you can select the resolution, quality and compress speed, once that is selected it will ask you to click on next and then save it, the check the process of save, click on the white circle on top right corner to check the progress. Also guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel, your subscribing to my channel means a world to me. Subscribe, like, comment and hit the bell icon for more updates.